If a door to door salesman comes knocking on your door this summer, be careful because you might get less than what you paid for. Victims of a seasonal scam are talking with News 3. Good evening. I'm Mark Kanin for Eric Franke this and, week. And I'm Susan Simon. One man's shoddy driveway repair work is prompting a warning from Dane County Sheriff's deputies as they search for the fly by night crew. Danica Lewis talked to homeowners who were hit by this latest surge of summer scams. Danica. Always a scary thing to talk about, think about. This time, the people are offering cheap deals on redoing the driveway. We followed up on these claims when a viewer told us someone sprinted off with her money after a quick botched job. Unfortunately, this kind of thing, it's not uncommon. Knock, knock. Who's there? But you can see where it's pretty rough through there, you know. Jerry Slominski found out the hard way. And he says, looks like you need your driveway done. I said, yep. He says, you want me to give you an estimate? I say, yeah, you can give me an estimate. He says, $150. Slominski shelled out double that, only to be left with bumpy blacktop and pollen pressed into the pavement. His neighbors across the street in Blooming Grove, same thing. Quite frequently, it's not blacktop at all. It's some kind of dirty motor oil. The Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection sees this every summer. People posed as professionals will use subpar materials. Even bolt without doing the work they promised. Just resist that pitch, resist the temptation to jump in for that great deal because in the end it probably isn't such a great deal after all. Another woman tells News 3 she tracked down the same con artist after paying him $350 for a driveway job. Her check was cashed in Prairie to Sac. So she called a few hotels and managed to find him. After the scam victim made her own call to the Skyview Motel, she made another one, this one to police. By the time deputies arrived, the suspect had already left. So she got back on the phone and tracked him right up Highway 12. Slominski figures you live and learn and maybe do your own driveway work. I took him at his word and uh, this is what happened. Now, one of the neighbors called the number on the scammer's business card only to reach a woman in northern Illinois who claimed to know nothing about the so-called paving business, supposedly based out of the Dells. So some definitely some fishy stuff going on. So what about the scammers? We know where they are. We don't at this point. Deputies are still looking for him at this point. And if you are certainly uh, have experienced anything like this, you want to give the Dane County uh, Sheriff's Office a call by neighbors accounts. He was in a truck with two other men and Dane County deputies could arrest him on fraud charges if they do happen to come across him. All right. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably that's, is. That's, that's pretty probably much is. the lesson learned here. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Danica. Sure thing.